How do I stop an email from going to junk in Outlook.com? This, as it turns out, can be really, really hard. So let's have a look at a couple of the options and at least one surprising uh, piece of data that you may not realize that could help you prevent some of your email from going to junk. We'll start with my Windows 10 machine and my Outlook.com account. So you can see that I've got a message available to me here. I'm going to make sure or do everything I can to make sure that my newsletter is never ever sent to junk when it arrives in this account. The first thing I've done is I've actually viewed the message down here below. So I've got the message visible. Now I'm going to hover my mouse over the uh, from address and you can see that it first showed a short card of exactly who that message is from and then it showed more details. Now one of those details is in fact what they call contact and they shows the email address that the message is from leo at askleo.com. We'll go ahead and show more about that contact and we can see that we don't have it as a contact in our email account ourselves. So the first thing to do is to add it to contacts. I'm not going to do anything other than simply create it. So now we have leo at askleo.com as a contact. If we go take a look at people, we'll see that in fact there is one contact and it is in fact this name Ask Leo Confident Computing with this email address, leo at askleo.com. So in theory, that is supposed to uh, now prevent that email from going to junk or at least act as a sign that email from that address is less likely to be considered as junk. Unfortunately, what many people find is that this technique alone doesn't always work on some of the email that they get. So what I'm going to do now instead is right click on the message and click on create rule. And now I'm going to click on more options so we get the complete set of rules available for our messages. It's already filled in the first uh, the condition for the rule when it is from ask leo confident computing and we can set an action now like i said there is no don't mark it as junk there is only mark it as junk what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to mark it or i'm sorry i'm i'm choosing to just categorize it what i'm doing is fairly arbitrary you can mark it with some kind of importance uh, you can do something else to it but i'm going to categorize it and the category that I'm going to use is, they only have colors here by default, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the blue category so that when that message arrives, it then gets assigned this random category. That may seem immaterial, that may seem kind of fake, uh, but as we'll see in a second, there's a reason I did this. I'm now hitting save. If we take a close look at what has just been set, you'll see that the description of the rule we just created says if the message was received from leo equals askleo.com at send.aweber.com that's not the email address we added to our address book that's the address that is used as one of the from addresses in the mailing list service that i happen to use so I'm going to leave this rule in place just because I'm assuming that having a rule act on this message also acts as another indicator that it is less likely to be junk. But I'm also going to take that email address that I've discovered here, this send.aweber.com email address, and I'm also going to add that to my contact list. I can't copy paste it, so I'm actually going to have to remember what this is leo equals askleo.com at send.aweber.com. So we'll go ahead and close the rules window, open up the people window, and add a new contact. 
So the only thing that I've added is an email address of leo equals askleo.com at send.aweber.com. And we'll go ahead and create that. Now, once again, the intent here is that by having this email address present in your contacts list, email from that email address, be it either this hidden AWeber address or the original leo at askleo.com email address are less likely to be marked as junk. Now that we have both of those email addresses associated with this newsletter, there's one more thing we can do. I've returned to outlook.com itself, or the email interface. I'm going to hit the settings icon, view all Outlook settings down at the bottom, click on junk email, and then in the safe senders and domains, I'm going to add a couple of things. I'm going to add askleo.com as a domain. So anything from askleo.com will be considered a safe sender. And I'm going to add that other one, send.aweber.com. Now I could include the full email address, leo equals askleo.com at send.aweber.com. But in reality, send.aweber.com is a newsletter sending service. You should only get email from it that you've specifically asked for. So by adding that domain to the safe senders list, that should help prevent those emails from those newsletters that you've signed up for that happen to use this newsletter sending service from getting sent to junk. And of course we hit save. So we've done several different things here to try and stack the deck in our favor. We've added both of the email addresses we've discovered for this newsletter to our contacts list. We added a rule, and in fact, it's that rule that exposed this other email address that we didn't know existed. And then finally, we added both of the domains associated with those two email addresses to our safe senders and domains list. Between those three actions, I think we've done everything we can to stack the deck in our favor and prevent those messages from getting automatically routed to our junk mail folder. Hope that was helpful. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com.